everyone here I am as you can see <laughs> trying to work out um, some kits page kits for from the bargain papers I bought I did promise that last time so as you can see I've got papers spread out everywhere I've been adding uh, putting some of those papers together to make a kit for instance there's this one and then I've been throwing some photos on. This is my normal process that I will do when I'm making up a page kit or a collection. Um, when I'm doing that, I'll be looking for colors that are similar within a paper range. And then I will look for embellishments. Now for me, I use these little photo boxes. And as you can see, quite a while ago, I spent lots of time sorting my embellishments, popping them in these boxes and labeling them. It takes a lot of time to set them up, but it's really worth it because when you get to this point where you've got papers everywhere, you've got photos everywhere, it will make it so much easier to finish off your kits. For instance, here we go. I've got my spooky box which doesn't have much in it. I might not find anything I can use, but we'll have a look. I have put together from the bargain papers that I bought, these two papers. I'll probably add in some white cardstock with this one as well. But I'm going to use it for these photos of my daughter dressed up as a very scary nurse. You would not want coming to your house uh, for Halloween. So I've got the speaker box, we'll have a look. Is there anything I can use in here? A lot of these might be quite um, childish. Ooh, maybe this I could use trick or treat, maybe. Hmm. Um, skull bones and tombstones, no. Nope. This I think is too childish, plus it's got no red happening. And these pumpkins aren't going to work either. But I do feel I can use that. So we might go trick or treat as our title. So there we go. So there's one thing that got added to that particular one. Now, let's move these out the way. Now, I've got quite a few that I've got uh, garden things happening. So in this particular one... I've got photos of my mum on her mad bonfire cleanup. <laughs> At some point, she had like 10 little fires going everywhere. So she's raking up all the leaves. So I get my leaf box. And as you can see, there's lots in this. Because as we all know, we get so many different foliage and flower things in various kits and things. Now I'm going through, there's a lot of these. Yes, I could use them um, either just straight black and white or I could color them. But I'm thinking that I want something darker. So I might go some of these. Yep, I think we're going to pop those in there. I'll fussy cut some of those out. There is also a heap of green ones in here. Hmm. Yep, we'll pop some of those on there as well. These are just all from cut apart sheets. Um, Oh, that one is a eucalyptus one, so we'll use, definitely use that and that. So we've got a range of different greens happening now. And what else? Is there something else buried in here? Got a whole heap of these cut apart ones. But down the bottom, under all this, there might be something else. Ooh, there's some sticks. Yes, thank you. We will have some of those. More cut apart. So many cut apart sheets. 
And I think they are the same. All right, that'll do us. So we've got some leaves and some branches and sticks, which of course is what it's all about, cleaning stuff up and getting rid of it in the garden. Now, I've also got this one called home. There may not be anything in here I can use, but I thought it was worth a look. It's to do with home. There may be something that could work. Oh, even if it's just a frame. Hmm. Yep, I'm going with that. Not with that one. Hmm, I don't know. Looking at my photo. For me, I always look at the colours in my photos. That is my big draw card. And I'm feeling that I want that green rather than the wood. Yeah, I'm going there with the green. Okay, what else have we got in here? Loop. Cameras. Bless this mess. Getting it done. That is definitely a stayer. We're getting our bonfires done, doing stuff around the house. These are all not going to happen. No, that's all sort of too householdy. Oh, do I want a banner? Colours work. Certainly would go well with that. Not really banner type of theme. No. Um, what is this? Loads of fun, our home, where's the maid? Oops, some of them are stuck together. I think I'm gonna take, I think I'll use that. Loads of fun will work. To do would work as well, and it's got that same color. Mm. I could use busy, busy, busy. Yeah, we've got the same colors there. Yep, that's going in as well. Now, see, I didn't really think I was going to find anything in here, and yet I have. No time, normal was just sitting on a washer. Jeez, I must have bought this whole collection, and you know, I can't even think of what it, what it is, but anyway. Um, home sweet home, no. This card would be, could be quite useful, perhaps. Got the same sort of colour ways happening, so I'll pop that in there. Oh, there's another busy, busy, busy. Ah, sticking with a little one. Bless this mess. What else have we got? We've got that as well. Do I want to use that or not? There's a bit of splash of colour for a mat. Oh, there's some big ones, six by fours, get it done. Love my home, love the people, housework can't kill you. Oh, they're double-sided. Now look, that would kind of work as well, wouldn't it? What's on the other side of that? Do I want to sacrifice it? Oh, it's just a plain one. Yeah, we're going to throw that in there too some wood grain that would work but I do I think we've got enough out of that all right can you see how we're building our kit up so we've got some little layering elements we've got some foliage we can fussy cut we've got a few little bits of text and some frames and now my other box I've got here is gardening of course she's in the garden so there's bound to be something in here that we can use as well not sure what it's going to be in fact it might just be this log of wood here 
Not those. She doesn't. Oh, does she have gloves? No, no gloves. Could put the wheelbarrow in there, even though she's not actually using a wheelbarrow. I like this for a cluster, and I'll just build up on top and use that frame as well. So we're going. Oh, don't know. That might be actually better for another one. I'm gonna pop that aside over there because I think I may use that on something else. Uh, oh, these are good for something else as well. Oh, I'm going to put those there. Birds. Do you really want some birds? Berries. Oh, some little 3x4 cards. Not really going to work with what we're doing here. That's lovely, isn't it? The mushroom one. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely too. But I don't want to... Oh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Get away up. Is this worth keeping? I do love those toadstools. And we have those in our garden. I don't think I can sacrifice it for this. What else have we got in here? We've got some stamped images. Could fuzzy cut some of these out and throw them in but I don't feel that I want those autumn tones so I'm gonna go not do that got a heap of these vegetables and berries and things but no once again too autumny don't want those oh, this one actually even says autumn no what's that pears no don't need pears don't need apples Right, I think we're done with this. I don't think there's anything in here that is going to be usable. I could use that. Do I want to use that? Yeah, I'm going to take the wheelbarrow. Okay. So, these I'm going to use on a different one, which I'll show you in a moment. So, we've got... What do we end up with? We've got some text, we've got some frames, we've got some layering cards, we've got some embellishments, all our leaves and things. Here's our layering pieces. So I think it's going to work. We'll have a better look at it in a moment. Now these that I just pulled I'm going to go in this kit. Now you'll probably think I'm a bit crazy. Let me just move these ones into the shot. And move these ones out. Um, so I've got these photos here <laughs> of uh, emus. See that? Look at these cute little baby emus in our garden with their dad. Um, I'm going to use these florals that were in the bargain papers. I just feel that I can make this work as matting, matting or layering. Like if you pop this on there and you make that fine little border, it's going to have the right colours that I need. Even if it's not really going with the Australian bush garden and roses. The other one I've got is this one. And I just like these tones that are in this paper. So I can either use it for the matting or as a background even. Then I've also thrown in this one, which has this pink, which is quite usable. And once again, it's got roses. But I just like the colours. I'm not sure if I can use it or not. Same with this one. It's got all the houses. We've got this strong citrus yellow. And then there's that pink as well, which also doesn't really match, but I'm going to make it work. <laughs> and how I'm going to make them work with my emu photos is by adding elements like this. So this log, there's a log here. So I'm going to use that. I've also got these two little decorative borders. 
that have the same sorts of tones that's in the gravel rock over there. So what we need is some more browns to put with it and maybe some more greens and that should bring it together. All right, so I've got dark brown box, green box and brown box. <laughs> Let's start with the brown box oh, and see, sorry, and see uh, what we can find in here. So remembering that our papers are quite pink and our photos have elements of greens, browns and wood and gravel rocks in there. So I'm going to go through and see what we can find. Now these don't really feel... Ooh, unless we count the emus. Hmm. How many emus were there? I think there was four babies or five. I oh, know, maybe there was only three. So I could use that just because it's got the number three. Okay, we're throwing it in. There you go. Do I want to do a bow belt? No. It's nothing to do with travel. Could use this. Calendar, that'll work. Um... Wood tag. Yeah, we'll go with the wood tag. I could use these. There's a slight pink and a green to them. Oh, look, we're going to make a layering cluster. Yep, we'll have some of those. We'll have that. Ooh, look at this fun thing. <gasps> How cute is this? What Oh my gosh, would that look nice behind? So sweet, isn't it? Oh, it's very vintage. Do I want that? Uh, oh, yep, yeah, I think we're throwing that in as well. Oh, this is fun, isn't it? Nope. Frame. Nope. Pussycat. Nope. A moth. A rabbit. Oh, I have to remember about that rabbit being in here. I need some rabbits for an Easter layout I'm doing. Oh, okay. We could use one. Of, yep, we've got one tag here. But let's throw in another one that's gardenish. I reckon I could put that one in as well. At time, Anzacs, no. Birthdays, no. So good, no. No, no, I've already got some border. What is this saying? Remember the times, remember the times. Mm, nah. Everyday life. Yes, because that is everyday life for us. We've constantly got the emus coming in. Little bits of grungy things. Another tiny little tag. I'm taking that because it's got a hint of green and grey and black like the birds. Oh, a dingo. A shame. <gasps> kookaburra. We could use the kookaburra. No kookaburras in there, but it's very Australiana. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, no, not sure. What else we got some more bird oh we got oh we've got three kookaburras. Okay, well that's just saying to me, yes, put it in. Uh there's a cute little wren thing here. Butterfly. It's a bright colour, but do I want a butterfly? No, I don't. More dingoes. Possums. Nope. That I like. I could fussy cut that out. That's staying. That can go to our cluster. Owls do not fit. I don't know why kookaburras do and owls don't, but anyway. Measuring tape. Nope. Mm, no, too little. Hmm. Do we want a clock? 
I don't think we do. What else have we got? Guitars? No. No, no, no. No guitars. No pen. <gasps> feathers. Now, see, this is gold, isn't it? Except, really, I want black and white feathers. But, you know, I think we're going to take that one. Oh, oh, mate. Oh. I know, I need to get... See, now I need to get out my black box and see if I've got any black and white feathers. <laughs> Don't need any locks or keys or love things at all. At wood, another tag. Oh, more tags. What if I fall, fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? That's good, isn't it? Follow your dreams. Nope. They're not following dreams. Oh, that's a cute little feather. That one can stay. Hmm. Look at that. I've actually taken, kept that off um, a piece of clothing, pyjamas that I bought. <laughs> I save all sorts of bits and bobs because you never know when you might need it. Uh, I like these. We'll grab some more leaves, a fussy cart. All right. I think we've got everything we can out of here. And pop all these back in here. And we haven't even got to the dark brown. <laughs> the dark brown one or the green one. Goodness me. But next. Dark brown box. Do we need anything in here? Happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. Scott. This we need. <laughs> Some feathers. Not that one because it's got red on it. Mm. That one we'll use. Look at these. Now, see, this was off a hat or something. I think it was a hat. Very cool. Kangaroos have to remember that's in there because I've always. Oh, there's a plain one. We could use that in our cluster. What do you think? Do we go for it? I mean, we could use this in the cluster and we could just cover up the kangaroos. Oh, there's a, oh, oh, oh my gosh. Lucky, lucky. Actual feathers. <laughs> Real feathers. Real feathers. I don't know what they're off. They're amazing. Wow, they really are amazing. Oh, look. I wonder what kind of bird they're off. They've got stripes, like our stripey emus. <laughs> okay. We're going to use some of these, even if they're not emu feathers, because it will just add something textual to the layer. I think that'll be great. So we're definitely using those. Oh, quite like these too, even though they're very contemporary. Hmm. Colours are right. Even got some blue there that's sort of happening in the log and the emu. Don't know. I think we're going with those too. We've got a lot of embellishments. That is enough there. Green box, I think. Yes, green. Oh gosh. Clearly, at one point, <laughs> I spent a day making lots of little bows with buttons, which are very cute, but not what we need. Oh, and the greens in here are going to be all over the place. Oh, that's quite nice. Bit of vellum. Oh, yeah, we'll have that. I like it. Just need... Ah, 
some gum leaves. Perfect. Sold. Stunning. Mm, our Amy is stunning. I don't think so. Oh, there's more gum leaves. So they will fit beautifully. See how it's see how easy it is. We could be thankful for Amy's coming in. Yep, we're gonna go with thankful. Coming into our garden. Thinking of you. Nope. Dirt. French uh, boy stuff, trailblazers, go see do, that's all travel stuff. Oh, I quite like that. Put the tags in there. Not really the right colour. Or is it? Hmm. Could be really nice for a focus cluster. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. It's not quite the right green. It is kind of a bit eucalyptus-y green. I think that will do us. I can't stop looking though. This is what happens when you start. <laughs> you just want to wade through everything. So I think you've got the general idea. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep making up my kits. Once you've got your basics of your page kits together, then I will also add things like stamps, dies, I will put in their alphas. I might put in some titles. Sometimes I'll put wood veneer. It depends what we're working on and how I'm feeling at the time. Don't forget, if you haven't watched the first video where I share all my bargain papers that I got for 20 cents, 50 cents and a dollar, go and watch that so you know what we're dealing with.